Hi, I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here for a special ZK Tour Jitex edition. I'm here at the show in the Middle East. It's the, I think, the world's largest enterprise tech show. I'm here at the Avaya stand. Uh, the company's mission for a while has been to build experiences that matter. The, the, uh, the theme for this year's stand, though, is innovation without disruption. And that's a hard thing to show over PowerPoints and slides, so I thought the best way to show what innovation without disruption is, is to actually go and look at some demos. So let's go to the stand and let's have a look. So I'm joined here by Savio Tovar uh, uh, Diaz, and uh, you are a sales engineer in the EMEA region for Avaya, and he's going to be walking around with me and we're going to be going through the demos. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is Avaya integration with the metaverse. Right, the metaverse Absolutely. is all the rage now, so it was good to see this here. What are you guys doing here? So what we're demonstrating here is how Avaya solutions overall, uh, uh, first of all, we're demonstrating all our contact center solutions and all based on CCAS. And what we're showing is how, without disrupting your existing environments, how we can not only deliver outcomes where you are with Web 2.0, but then leverage Web 3.0 and bring in that seamlessly as a channel into your contact center. So I'm just thinking about this as a, just another channel for my contact center. Absolutely, it's as simple as, simple as that. And I, we, we all are used to the Web 2.0, we, we browse and all that, we all used to chat. Yeah. What, this will leverage you, you can you'd be able to chat in, the, in, in Web 2.0 and then get a link to be clicked in which would beam you into the metaverse. And what exactly are you highlighting here? So what we're demonstrating is how entities like the Dubai government were able to facilitate the building of uh, new companies inside Dubai. Which is lots of. Exactly. Yeah. And what the metaverse allows you to do is come into a, a, a virtual world without traveling into Dubai, meet all the entities that you would need to actually build your company up, whether it's the immigration, uh, your office space, and then your banking environment, and that do it all seamlessly inside a single pod before you actually even step on a plane. Oh. So in a sense, it's like creating a digital twin of government services. Correct. I do them all in the metaverse, and then when I come to Dubai, my You're business set. is up and running. All You're right, well, well thanks. That's, uh, I was glad you went through that, because I get asked a lot of questions about what are some practical examples of the metaverse? We all know gaming, but this actually seems like one that could be replicated across all governments. And, and the best thing about it is, you know, the metaverse is built the way you like it, and then what a buyer brings to it is the ability not, when the, when the customer has jumped in, an agent can be invoked to beam himself into the metaverse and talk to the... And it's a real you. agent though. It's a, absolutely a real agent that looks like an avatar. So we're actually blending the physical world and the meta world here. Correct. Well, that's very interesting. So uh -huh. uh, thanks for that, let's move on to the next stage. All right, well, I'm back with Savio, and we're going to be talking CCAS, or Contact Center as a Service. You know, Savio, I was here a few years ago when you actually launched your CCAS platform Absolutely. at this show, right? And so now I know you've done a lot of work to it, Correct. there's been a lot of innovation brought to it, and it's available globally, so it's not just a regional place. So, uh, Absolutely. I, yeah, so I get a lot of questions about what's Avaya doing with CCAS, so what are you doing with CCAS? So like you said, we've done a lot of work on it, and we've come a long way. And the key thing is now, CCAS being available globally, um, having the scale based on our MPC platform, our media Process anchor program. processing core, um, driving um, a very innovative uh, anchor for all our CCAS as well as our spaces play. But what we're using CCAS to do is help our customers get that transformation to the cloud done seamlessly. You've heard of innovation without disruption. Yeah. CCAS being the core component of that in general basically. So in the sense that we now have uh, the ability to take customers on-prem and then deliver digital over the top with CCAS or take them wholesale straight into a pure cloud play uh, you know, seamlessly without disrupting their existing environments. So often innovation does have disruption. So if I'm thinking, if I'm an Avaya on-prem customer, which you have a lot of, yes. biggest install base in the world, and I want to move to the cloud, I can use yours and seamlessly migrate there. Yeah. And the over the top you mentioned, so what would I do in that case? So in that sense, first of all, the client, the agent side client is going to stay the same. So you'd log in and you'd be able to log in into your on-prem and your cloud play. You'd get your voice and digital meld together. You'd get your analytics done together. And then everything, as we 
progress their services into the cloud, just keep going without changing analytics or the agent front end or the provisioning abilities that we are providing them. Oh, so I think when you say innovation without disruption, I think people might think of that as the back end disruption, but you're actually right. talking no disruption to the, the user as well. End. Absolutely, well, no in fact, user that, experience change for the user. Yeah, well that actually might be more important. Correct, so, absolutely. All right. So again, it's, the CCAS is real, it's shipping now. In fact, I've talked to a number of customers at the stand that are already using it, so what's the traction been like? You've seen it. Yeah. Day three, it's been amazing. I mean, we've had uh, times on the stand where we couldn't walk past each other, and, and it's just been amazing. We've had waves of different customers from all over the world. It's not, Jitex is no longer just a regional play. It's, it's probably, you know, on this side of the planet, it's the largest forum you'd see for IT. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, yeah. all right, well, off to the next demo. Well, Savio, I know recently Avai announced a strategic global partnership with Alcatel Lucent Enterprise. Uh, we're here and I see their access point here, so clearly the network's part of it. Absolutely. So, uh, go into some detail of what that partnership is. So Alcatel Lucent being a significant vendor in the industry, we sort of decided to team up on the best of both worlds kind of approach. So what we're going to do is essentially uh, team up with Alcatel Lucent for them reselling our, our cloud CCAS platform, while in reciprocation with our customer base, we're going to start to pitch their you know, shortest path bridging technology on the Alcatel Lucent data networking portfolio that includes the wireless and some of the smart IoT stuff that they do for their smart cities. They've got a fantastic portfolio that scales metropolitan wide, in fact. So well, that addresses a pretty interesting trend that I've been following for a while, that's the coming together of IoT right. and communication. So when you think of IoT, it's machines talking to machines, you see is people talking to people. Well now we can have people talking to machines and vice versa. It's basically going to be everything talking to everything at some point yeah. in time, right? You got people talking to people, people talking to machines, machines talking to machines to deliver outcomes at the end of the day. So everything, all of that has to be orchestrated. We are orchestrating that and bringing it all together with what you've seen previously, the metaverse, automation, digital, and, and then you know IoT as well. So now both companies can actually go to market with uh, a full stack offering of network, Absolutely. UC, CC. Yeah. yeah. And what's interesting is, there is some overlap between the two portfolios, yeah. right? So, uh, I've always felt that a company's ability to manage, to partner with its competitors actually is what makes it successful. Was, was that some of the thought process here? No, look, we, have, we, have, we, we do compete and there are overlaps in, our, in the market. But at the same time, that's what the market is about right now. Yeah. We're leveraging each other's strengths to try and build better you know, propositions to market and build another you know, differentiator. All right, so more to come from ALE, I'm sure, and we're we'll looking forward to the that. innovation, and yeah. uh, let's head to the next station. All right, Savio, now we're here at the uh, Avaya Spaces uh, demonstration area, and I've used Spaces a lot. It's your unified communications Absolutely. platform, it's meetings, it's calling. It's actually a, I, I really like the platform, it's very fast, and um, from what I understand, you have an actual customer use case here. It's been used by the Dubai Immigration Service, correct? So correct. tell us what they're doing with that. So this is again another differentiator for Avaya where we're actually bringing enterprise comms and contact center elements together. We're using uh, the modularity and the, the native cloud API first kind, uh, elements of spaces to actually build a use case where Citizens of Dubai can now collaborate with offices in the immigration services to consult around their golden visa, application, status, um, seamlessly off their mobile, laptop, or any other kiosk that they have in some of their offices so that they can actually talk to them seamlessly and then share documents and make sure they're ready to actually come into the office and, and, and submit their documents. So now it becomes easier to get Absolutely. my visa in Dubai. It's basically a time saver. You've seen the traffic in Dubai. You've yeah. seen what it's like. Well. Yeah. Imagine yeah. doing that twice, so this, this saves you one, one route in. Yeah, you know, one of the things I think that's, uh, that lacks appreciation for this region is in most of the world, including the U.S. where I live, uh, private sector drives innovation and public sector yes. lags way behind. In this case, it's public Absolutely. sector that's actually creating a lot of the innovation. As you can tell with Jitex, I mean, the government's actually sponsoring and leading that innovation, yeah. and then the private enterprise is actually following, so you know, trying to keep up with the trends. The Dubai government is one of the first in the world to actually go paperless as of Jan 1st. Zero paper and applications for visas. Yeah, well, good for you, and I know Dubai is a big part of Absolutely. the government strategy, too, so. All right, let's head over to the next one. 
All right, Savio, I know partnering is a big deal for Avaya, right? You have a lot of great global partners. Honeywell is one of them. And from what I understand, you're using uh, some of the Honeywell technology you guys have partnered to help, uh, I think it's the government of Egypt do better emergency services. Oh, right. So can you give us a, a little walkthrough of what that is? So as you've seen, I mean, we, we focus on our core and leverage our ecosystem to help drive value and you know, build value in the, in the streams above. In this scenario, what we're doing is we're building a, an emergency 911 call and dispatch service for the government of Egypt. We've done it in conjunction with Honeywell. Again, phenomenal tools and processes behind it and a phenomenal application that sits on top of our contact center to help drive faster services, especially for emergency. Yeah, well you're both global leaders, so how does this work? How does the Honeywell technology integrate with the Avaya contact center? It's more the relationship of two um, industry leaders that leverage uh, government accounts, so we, we both work in government accounts heavily, so when we go together, that joint value proposition just makes it a whole lot stronger when you talk about strong resilient contact centers with call and dispatch and some of the other elements that they bring to that space. Okay, well again, this is another case of uh, government's leading innovation, so that's Correct. good to see. All right, Savio, well, uh, when we talk about innovation without disruption, obviously, uh, being able to automate things and have it be smarter uh, is a big part of that, right? So here we are uh, at the automation AI and analytics section, and uh, I think what we're looking at here is a little bit of contact center analytics, so maybe tell us what we see here. So basically, our CCAS analytics platform is an open analytics platform. As you all know, not everyone uses an analytics from a vendor, and they always bring two things together to bring insight to their business. Our CCAS platform is natively on an open uh, analytics platform where we can import data into our place from our on-prem solutions to sort of bring the insight from both the cloud world as well as our on-prem world in one space. You're seeing dashboards, you can do analytics of everything from call, digital, you know, and everything else. And beyond that, you can do some you know, forecasting and predictions around that based on the data you get from this using other tools or tools that we provide on speech and video as well. Oh, so if I'm a customer and I'm using your traditional platform for voice and I bring in the other channels over top, Correct. I actually have one common set of data. Absolutely, that's what we're going to be doing with, with, our, with our CCAS analytics platform. Oh, well that's very, uh, you know, it's interesting with uh, all the agents working remotely, the number one thing I get from companies that they need now is better analytics to understand agent behavior. Correct. Yeah. So that's, that's what we do. Now, I also noticed that uh, there's a new logo up here as partners here. It's Unifor. From what I understand, you signed a global agreement with them. Correct. So congratulations on that. Uh, tell us a little about what they do and how you're using them. So Unifor is helping us with conversational AI and a number of other pieces. So, you know, the self-serve elements of coming in, self-assisted and, and drive. Beyond that, they help with agent and agent assistance. And post that, they do, they help us with video and speech analytics. So they can analyze content and provide insight into uh, conversations had with your customers. So they, they, they sort of do it really nice and neatly and that was definitely going to help us uh, with our relationship with Unifor uh, as we go forward and help customers automate some of their processes. All right, well thanks uh, Savia, that was great. And uh, I know the conversation AI is a really interesting field. Uh, I think one of the things I like about Avaya's strategy in the area of AI is you're not trying to build everything in house. Yeah. Right. That's an impossible thing to do and there's great best of breed companies out there like Unifor and so uh, by being able to leverage them you should be able to get more features to your customers faster. Absolutely. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of the ZK Tour. I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe. And I want to thank Savio for joining me. Thanks, yes. It's always good to be here. That was a great tour. So uh, thanks, and uh, let's, I'll see you next time.